Okay, where are we starting at? So right now we're going over the urinary system or the urine system IDs uh, in order. Okay. So for the kidney, we're going to start with the kidney. We know what the kidneys are, these things. And then the ureter come out of the kidneys into the urinary bladder. And this is going to be the urethra coming out here. Now this is a guy, and you know this because these are the prostate glands. So the urethral orifice, this would be the internal urethral orifice. This opening here into the urethra, and the external urethral orifice would be at the tip of the penis. What's this model right there? And then, um, yeah, for this model, we're going to call this the external, because that's the internal, and that's the external, because it's going to keep going. And this would be the trigone, this triangle thing inside. The calyx minor and major are going to be on this kidney, so this beginning part will be major, and these ends would be the minor. And then um, the cortex is the outside part. And then the renal column are in between the pyramids. And then um, the medullary pyramids, you know, are these. And the renal pelvis are going to be at the... No, I'm, I'm wrong. The spaces, right. The renal pelvis is these peach parts in here. Right. Oh, no. Isn't that the renal pelvis? Yeah, that's the renal pelvis here. The sinus is the space in between. Yeah, those... Yeah. Renal pelvis. This is the renal pelvis. Um, the papilla pyramid are at the end. These are the papilla pyramid. Uh huh. And then oh, the, is just where it's the, it's the renal vein, artery and vein. This would be the artery and the vein. And the segmental arteries would now be going this way. There's no segmental vein, so this is the segmental artery. And then the interlobular. Now you're going low bar. I'm sorry, interlobar are between the columns, so they would be these. And then the arcuate would be around the, each of the pyramids. And the interlobular would be in the corpuscle, these around here. Um, the afferent and efferent. I can't really see it on there. Yeah. So this would be the afferent going in, and this would be the efferent coming out. And you know it's the afferent because it's coming off of the interlobar. Yeah. And you said this would be the, um, this, this is the interlobar, the arcuate, interlobular, which leads to the afferent, which line is the glomerulus. Yep. Okay, and we can also, the renal corpuscle is this whole thing. <laughs> This whole model is the renal corpuscle with the Bowman spaces in here and the Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus. Yeah, they're the same thing. Yeah, they're the same thing. You can call them the same thing. Um, and the glomerulus in here. Um, the proximal and stuff. The proximal convoluted too. If you start from the glomerulus, you can your uh, proximal, and you follow this path, which goes into the descending. It's thin, which goes into the ascending, which is thicker, and then you're out into the collecting duct. Well, distal convoluted. And the distal convoluted tube is here too. Yeah. So from the uh, ascending, you got the distal convoluted tube, and then you're into the collecting duct. Should we do it on the small model? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the small model, the um, proximal is coming out the glomerulus, then the descending, then the ascending, then the distal. This is juxtamedullary. Yeah. Yeah. This is juxtamedullary. Juxtamedullary. Yeah. This one down. The shorter one is shorter. Yeah, because this one's going all the way in. Juxtamedullary. Nephron. Yeah. Going down into the medullary. And then the cortical. Right. The cortical because it doesn't go low into the juxto one because it goes deep into the. It goes deep. And lupatinly and uh, ascending and distal and collecting duct. Okay. And. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. On the glomerulus, on the glomerulus the these are the protocytes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The macula densa, which is on the afferent arterium. And this is the um, just the glomerular yeah. cells. Mm -hmm. And together, they meet the... I don't know. So again, these are the podocytes and the juxtaglomerular and the macula densa, which is on the afferent. Okay, so that's it for kidney and um, for the urinary.